Hello. Yeah, can you us? Yeah, hello. Yeah, can you all see my screen? Okay, okay, okay. So thank you all for joining today. Um, so far you've done a lot. Um, I hope you've learned a lot of things here, right? Okay, and then this concept is new to you, right? But I believe you've gotten everything right. Now, from our previous class we had, we did the module four, right? And I gave you assignment to do. But so far, uh, the best I've gotten from the assignments, uh, the one that I can see he did very well to me. He really, I like the way he presented the work and everything, the answer, the explanation is very on point. The person is very on point. So I gave full mark, which is 100 over 100. This is the first time I've gotten a student scoring 100 over 100 in robotics mathematics. So this person has really done well. And I believe now that he has gotten the basics, gotten everything, is going to move very fast. So I'll use that work to explain to you guys. So you guys need to be motivated and do more, not just write answers for me. I always used to see you understand, but you need to prove to me that you really know what you are doing. So when I give you the work, you have to present it in such a way that I will know that you really understand what you are doing. Okay, so essence of this robotic mathematics is to make sure you can play with mass. Anything concerning with mass, you should be able to work with. So I will use um, the person who scored 100 over 100 is uh, Franklin Apia Thompson. So I'm going to use Franklin's work okay, for you to see what Franklin did, okay, this is the work I gave to you guys to solve, okay, now you can see, can you see the screen now, if it's not, let me try to enlarge it a little bit, Yeah, can you see it? Still, you can't see it. It's clear now, right? Okay, so I gave you this. The first question was, 98 times 145. Okay, 98 times 145. Okay, so this is what Franklin did. I told you, once you already know what you are doing, you can skip some steps. Okay, so Franklin already knows he's dealing with reference number 100. Okay, so now 98 is what below the reference number, so he knows that it's less than what two, so you represent by negative two here. 145 is also above the reference number, which is 145, so that one is up there plus now. Daguna, you know this one is going this. Okay, let me pick a pen so that I can really uh, demonstrate that for you to see. 
okay so you know that this this one is going here okay and then this is also going here so i always yeah. tell you that pick the easy one out well, so you can see the easy one out from well, here well, is well, what two and one four five well, well, so well, one well, four five minus two will give you well, one well, four well, three well, times your reference number is going to give you this okay now you have to multiply this negative and positive will give you negative 90 so that one is showing nicely here now you add from our previous class i always tell you easy way out now 90 plus this 90 minus this you can subtract from 100 and add 10 if that is okay for you so if i subtract 100 from this i'll my answer will be one four two hundred plus ten will give me or i can do like what franklin did here so subtracting this from this will give you this so you score the full mark from here okay the b it did the same so you can see the b this is the b he did the same to also here okay so he scored the full mark from here okay i'll give you the full mark okay see see the whole, what he did he the same thing the reference is 100 now less five this one is up 20 then he did the reference because this one is this, this will also go to this side. So when we subtract this 115, 115 is here, times your reference number will give you this. So you realize the answers that you got here. Now, here, Franklin, I think I have to check here for you. Now here should be, um, here should be positive, negative, right? Because we have negative here. Or should we? I can call you. I'm not having the phone. So. Hmm. Or should we? It's one hour. Just that. Just that. Or you want to go? Okay. Hello. Hello. Yeah. So you can see here, I think Franklin, here should be negative, right? Here should be negative because, yeah, I forgot to put it there. Okay. So here should be negative should be there okay so i think he did the subtraction so it's there but just i forgot the negative okay hello hello oh and run right now to i'm in the class now so you, what I will do is I will do the recording. So I'll forward it to you. Okay. <laughs> Don't worry, we'll get down for you. Okay. 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 Hello. So you see here, you got it very well. Okay. So this one, this place is correct. Okay. So you need to present your work. This is what I want you guys to do. Okay, so you can see the presentation, everything is clear. Hello. You don't understand. This is somebody's work. What we did last week, you do you understand what we did last week? The same thing. This is the assignment I give. Assignment I give. And there's someone's work that you did. Okay. You already know all these points. You've done them. 
Okay, we are dealing with reference number 100. So you know your 100 is here. We did the Modu 4, everything is here. So this one is less than your reference number, which is 100. Okay, reference number, which is 100. So when you do your subtraction, your answer, you add it. So your reference number here is what 100. But just that he knows it, so he doesn't want to write it the same thing. Okay, so when you subtract this, what number do you do? Subtract from 100 is 2. We'll give you this. Okay, this one, to get this, you add 146 to 100 will give you this. And you already know this. When you are done, you do your diagonal, this. And I always tell you, use the easy one. So we realize that the two is easy. So when you subtract two from this, you are going to get 144 times your reference number here. We give you 100. Okay, so you have your 100 here. Now you do the multiplication of this, the one in the circle. This is the circle. Just that it did not circle it, but it's the same thing. Because it's writing there, it's the same thing. It's not wrong. So you can do with that circle, but it's the same thing. So now you multiply the one in the circle. Okay, so minus two times positive this will give you minus 92. Okay, then you do your, now you write 92 minus, you can do 100 as last time we did. So when you subtract 100 from this, you are going to get um, 130 here, 30. 300. So you realize there's two. Okay. So you subtract your eight from it, like what we did last time. You get your answer. So, anyhow, you present it, you are going to get the answer. So, with this, you already understand it. You've done all these ones. Okay. So, this is someone's work that he has done that I want you guys to know. So, next time, you need to do it nicely. For me to see. So you see everything that he has done here yeah. is correct. Yeah. Okay. So yeah. thank you, Franklin. You've done a good job. Yeah. Okay. So I want you guys to look at what he has done and then you need to practice them. It's not just writing the answers to me. Once you write the answers to me, I'll give you some mark. I won't mark you down, but you receive some mark, but it's not enough. Okay. So from now onwards, I want you guys to do this. Are you okay? Okay. Okay, so now we can start to this class. Okay. We are in module five. So, module five. You come. Are you the other side? Now, module five, we. Checking answers. So, when we are done, that's all, but then you use it to check your answers. Okay. So, we are going to learn the techniques okay. of checking your answers. So, you can apply this in any math class. Answer. Okay, once you are done with your work, you should be able to check your answers to know that what you've done is right or wrong. And if your teacher marks you down, you can challenge by proving your answers. Okay. So, um, we have checking your answers. Okay. So, you will be like, if you always found the right answers in every mass programs. Imagine scoring 100% like what uh, Franklin did today. Okay. How would you like it to be? Okay. Like always getting 100% in everything that you do. Okay. Including your teachers knows anything about it. Okay. So when you do this, you prove to your teachers that you know. Okay. So I know how to do the problem, but I still got the wrong answer. Okay. I will forget to carry a number. Okay. 
or find the right answer, but I write that different way. How can I know that even though I know I'm writing different answer, how will I know? Okay, so this all got to do with mistakes. Okay, it's not that you don't know. You've worked it right. You know this is the right answer that I'm but you realize that you put in the wrong figure there. So how will you know that? It's when you proof check your answers. That's where you got to know that, oh, you've written a wrong answer, even though you know the right answer. Okay, so we want to go through that, okay, so that we can actually know everything that we write, if we are wrong or right, okay. So the first principle that we are going to apply is um, substitution method, okay. So we are going to substitute a number, okay, into the answer that we are we will get. So for this, we are going to check the answers to a calculation, okay. So um, I have we use a substitution to instead of for the original number we are working with. So a substitute on a football team or a basketball team is somebody who takes another person's place or the team. So if somebody gets injured or tired, they take that person off and bring on a substitute player. Okay. So the substitute player will replace what the injured player. Okay, so a substitute teacher fills in when your regular teacher is unable to teach you. Okay, so we can use the substitute number in place of the original number that we have been given to work with. Okay, so let's see how we can go about this. So now we have a number here. Let's see. Let's try. Let me show you how to work it. So let's see. We have just calculated 12 times 14. Okay. And come to an answer of 168. We want to check this answer. So I have here 12 times 14 equals to 168. So the first number in your problem is 12. So you can see here, this is the first number. Okay, let me try to use the pen so that you can. So the first number is this 12, okay? So you have this 12 here. So we add it to get together to get the substitute word number. So to get the substitute number, your first number, your first digit, we are going to add it product. So the product are one and what two. So I'll pick that and add. So now you can see here one plus two will be what three. So three is our substitute number for 12. Okay. So three is our substitute for 12. So I write three in pencil. Okay, this is a rough work. So you use a pencil to do it so that at the end you can erase it. Okay, so three in pencil, either above or below the number 12. Okay, wherever there is a room. So if you have upper, the up that you have a space that you can write, you do that. If the down that you think you have a space, you write that. Okay. So the next number we are going to work with is what 14, which is 1, 4. So 14, the product of 14 is 1 and 4. Okay, so we are going to check the substitute for 14, which is 1 and 4. So the same way we did for 
12 we did this we do the same thing here so next is we to we are going to add the product of 14 which is 1 and 4 so we have our 1 here so 1 plus 4 is 5 so our substitute number is what for product 1 4 is 5 okay so 5 is our substitute for 14 so we now do this the same calculation that's what we know here as what well. 12 times 14 is going to give us so now we are going to do the same calculation here so our answer will be 3 times 5 is 15 okay 3 times 5 equals to 15 okay so 15 is a two digit number so we also add it digits together to get a check answer so now to get our check answer we are going to add the product of 15 which is 1 and 5 so now 1 plus 5 is 6 okay 1 plus 5 is 6 So now you can see the six here, right? So now we've gotten our check answer. So our check answer is six, okay? So we add the digit of the original answer. So now that you've gotten the check answer, we are also going to add the digit of the original answer. So the original answer that we had was one five six this the original answer is 12 times 14 equals to one six eight is the original answer that we got so now we do the same thing to this so one plus six plus eight or is also what 15 so now the 15 is also in what two digits so we also add the product so one plus five is six so now you can boldly confirm that your answer is what right okay because you've done the proof of your answer to see that if this answer is right Okay, so um, we've gotten this part. Okay, so let's continue. So you can see we have this. Yeah. You don't understand. Okay, so um, let me take um, okay, so I'm taking this number to prove to you. So let's confirm this. Now I have this twelve. Okay, 12 times 14. Okay, now if you are working this thing out, normal way that we know, if I'm working this out, I know that this one is in this word, the reference number is 10, right? Right, so if I don't even know the multiplication, I know that this one I'm going up, so I have my plus two here. 
and then I have my plus four here. Okay, so with this once, if I do the diagonal, okay, whatever that I do, but I know that the answer that I'll receive is one, six, eight. Do you agree with me? Yes. Okay. Are you okay with this point? Okay. 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 So now that you've gotten this, now what we are doing is we want to prove our answer. We want to be sure if 12 times 14 is truly 168. Okay. That's what we are doing here. Now, the principle that we are using is what called substitution method. Okay. So we are looking for a number that we can substitute to this 12 here and this 14 to prove our answer. Do you understand that point? Yes. Okay. Okay. So the way to get the the way to get that substitution method is to add, you can see here, this is 12, but 12 has is a dig a two digits, right? We have one and two. Then 14 is also a two digit. We have one and four. Do you understand that? Okay. So now we are going to add the, the digit, okay, of each figure, okay? So 14 is a figure. 12 is a figure. So each digit is what? One and what two so i'm going to add that to give me my first substitution what number okay so i'll add this so this one plus two is going to give me three okay so my first substitution number is what three okay so now i'll move to my second substitution number which is now I know that the real problem that we have here is for 14, but 14 has what two what 14 have two what um has two what digits, right? So these two digits are one and four. So I will come here and one plus four will also give me five, right? Do you understand up to that point? Okay, so now our substitution method for 12 times 14 is, now the whole question has been reduced to three times five. Okay, so three times five will give me 15 right right okay so 15 so now with this 15 that i'm quoting here you can see this is the answer but this answer is also so i'm going to compare this answer to this answer this is our rare question answer which gives us what 168 and our substitution number also answer is what one five. Are you okay with that? So we are going to prove these two answer. If the figure that we will get from this answer and this answer is the same, then we can see that our answer is what correct. Do you agree with me at this point? Okay. So now to prove our substitution answer. We know that this one two is in what has a two word digit, which is one and what five. Okay, so I'll add this is a substitution answer. A substitute answer. Okay, is one 
five. So one five, when I add it, is it will also give me one plus because it's, we are having two digits. So one plus five. One plus five is six. Are you okay now? So now we come back to our normal answer. So we are going to prove our normal. So our normal answer is also having the original answer is having three digits. Do you agree? One, six, and eight. Okay. So now the original answer. Okay. So the original answer is having one, six, eight. Okay, so this one says it. Let's prove the answer. So I'll have one plus six plus eight, which will also be equal to what? One plus one plus this is what? What? Seven. Okay, seven plus eight is fifteen. So you can see we have fifteen here. Fifteen two is into what? Two digits. So we do what? We add the digit up to add again. So one plus five, which will give which will give us six. So our answer is what? Six, which means that our answer is what correct. Okay, so you can know that this thing that you've done is correct. Do you understand? So we can pick any number. Let's pick any number and prove our answer from our previous questions. What you've done and prove our answer to see whether we are. Let's take another one so what number can we take let's say uh, 15 times 13 who can give me the answer who can give me the answer then we prove the answer Fifteen, fifteen times fifteen times thirteen. What one? One nine five. Without, do you all agree to that? Okay, so okay, let's prove that. Let's prove that if it's true. So first thing we have to check our substitute. Okay, so our substitute for the first number will be one plus. This one you do it with pencil, small b. Then when we are done, you just erase it. Okay. So one plus this will give me six. Right. Okay. Then you pick another substitute, which is one plus three. Also will give us what? Four, right? So we add the product of the two substitutes, which is six, six times four, six times four will be equal to twenty-four. Okay, so let's add the two digits of this four plus. So four plus 
4 plus 2, which is a 2 plus 4 will give us 2 plus 4 will give us 6. 6. Okay. So we are proving 6. So our answer, this one, we should be able to know. So now this one is having 3 digits, which is 1 plus. 1 plus 9 plus 5. Okay. Okay. So when we add this one, it's what? 10. Eh? 10 plus 5 will give us what? 15, right? So 15 was also 2 digits. So 1 plus 5, which is what? Which will give us what? 6. Right, so it means the answer is what? Right. Are you okay? Do you understand now? Do you understand? Okay, okay, okay. So, um, let's continue. Okay. So, um, we've gotten this point, okay. Uh, if able to prove our answer, so let's go further and add more. Let's go further and add more. Okay, so the next thing that we are having here, we've gotten these points, we know all these ones. Okay. This is what I just did. So now you understand how to pick the substitute and put them together. So I'm not going to go through all this thing again. Okay. So now the next point that we want to learn is the a shortcut method. Okay. So let's find the shortcuts. Okay. Now there is uh, another shortcut to this procedure. Okay. So the shortcuts that we are talking about is we find a 9 anywhere in the calculation. We cross it out. Okay. This is called casting out 9s. Okay. Casting out 9s. So we can see with this example. Okay. But can you see? Can you see? Okay. Okay. Okay, okay. So we have this. Okay, so our shortcut is casting out nine. Okay, so nine is anywhere we see nine in our answer, we fish it out. Okay, we cross it out. Okay, so you can see with this example how to remove a step from our calculation without affecting the result. Okay, so we have this year okay so with the last answer one 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 Nine six instead of adding one plus nine plus six, we equals one six, okay, and then add one plus six, okay, which is what seven, okay, okay, this makes no difference to the answer but it saves some time and effort, okay? Now, with what we did, the question that we just solved, okay? You realize that we are having the nine day. Let me show you. The one that we just did. We have it. Uh, did I cancel it? Oh, I think I did cross it. Oh, I've raised it. Oh, shut. I've raised it. It's not there. So let's continue. When did, when, so when you realize that 
once you cross it out, this is the answer. Now we have seven. So we can cross out the nine uh, no, answers, again. but just, it saves I'm some just, time just, and effort. Okay. Now we so, have here. Uh, so no, no, one. I don't think there is anybody. None of my guys is out. What we can, why would Hello. We come around early? Hello. Can you hear me? Hello. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So this makes no difference. Okay. 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 Thank you. So this no make uh, makes no difference to our answer. Okay. But it saves some what time and effort. So I'm in favor of anything that no, saves time and effort. Okay. What you are doing is we always want to use the yeah, shortcuts, we want to here. save time. Of this, you want to know oh, whether yeah, the yeah, answers yeah. that you pick is right or wrong. So you don't need to use a long yeah. method to waste your time. Okay. So this one is the best way to do that. Okay. So we can use this shortcut. There is isn't now in this one that you can see here one and six. But we can see that so when you add you, one uh, plus you, six, you, you, you get one nine, one right? Go, can uh, you see I'm here? Going. One plus six yeah, will give you what? Nine. Yeah, so you just fish out. that yeah, one out. So you realize that yeah. your answer will be six. So go, Instead of getting to 15 and do that one before you get to six, once you add this and get nine, yeah. fish out two, now you know that your answer is what? Yeah. Six. Do you understand? Okay. Hello, do you get me here? We have here this plus one plus this is what nine, right? So you cancel it, then your answer is six. Are you okay? Okay, so that is the shortcut. Okay, that is the shortcut. You said. You don't understand. Okay. What I'm seeing here is the shortcut. Okay. Now, we said anywhere you see your answer, you see 9, you cross 9 out, you fish 9 out. Okay. Because we know that 9 out to any number makes no difference. Okay. So, anywhere you see 9, you fish die out you don't add nine to your answer do you understand so to do that we are saying that this is the answer that we got before what we are adding so we have this nine plus six plus this gave us what 15 and we need we'd rather 15 is also two digits so we have to add one and five to give us what six as our check answer now because we are saying that anywhere you see nine fish it out if i add one to eight it will give me what nine right so i'll just fish this two out and then my answer will be six so i don't need to go through the third process again do you understand okay so let's see this number now we have this answer here we have this number to work it out one oh no this one is your rough work okay so you just understand it and then you apply it okay 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 so now let's see this um let's try this number here we have these two digits here let's see if we can fish it out okay using this method okay so that our answer will be so this one is equal to this we can see it's equal to this so we want to prove to this answer but you can see that it's long let's see how to go about this let's see we have this two this okay so we are going to use the principle that we've gotten so far we are fishing can you see these numbers 
Let me enlarge it. You can see. Okay, so we have this one here. So 12, this, and this should give us this. Now we want to see if this answer is truly equal to this. When you multiply this, if you check this with calculator, it can't do because it's too it's more than 15 digits. Okay, so calculator cannot give you this answer. So let's try with this method and see if this time this is truly this. Do you get me? Hello. You want to prove that this time these figures one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight times eight, nine, zero, four, five equals to the whole of these figures. If you try your calculator, you can't get the answer. It's too big for your calculator to calculate. Okay, so let's use this method to prove if it's truly this time this is equal to this. Are you okay with me? So now to do that, we are going to use the shortcut method. Okay, so let's use the shortcut method. Anywhere we get nine, we cross it out. Okay, so you can see here we have nine nine. So these two and these two can go. Do you agree? Hello. So we can cross this one out. Okay. Now we know that one plus eight will also give us what nine, right? So we can cross this one out. Okay. You also know that this is zero. This one zero plus zero. Okay. Will the zero plus nine will give us what nine. So you can cross this one out. Okay, you cross this one out. This one is also out. Okay, do you understand? Because this one and this one will also be. What? You got the same answer. What calculator are you using? And that one, the laptop calculator will do it, but the smart one will not do. Uh huh. Are you okay? Hello. Okay, so now we've able to cross these ones out, right? Okay. So now, what I did was zero plus nine is what will cross this one out, right? Okay. Zero plus this one also. Hello, are you with me? Okay, so now our next answer that you receive the one that you've not crossed out will be three, two, seven, five, and what? And then one. Okay. But you know that, you also know that 2 plus 7 will give us what? 2 plus 7 is what? 9. So we can fish this one two out. Okay. And then we also know that 3 plus 5 is what? 3 plus 5? 8. Okay. Plus 8, uh, 8 plus 1 is what? nine so it means that we are getting what zero what here okay okay so we know that we've closed all this thing out let's see from here the opposite side okay now we have here two and seven can go right this and this you believe right okay now we have here, which is what? Three and what? Six can go, right? Okay. 
four and five will go right. Okay, one and eight will go right. Will give us nine. Okay, now four and five again will go right. Do you believe that? We said we already have what four and five cancel where say this is another four and five. Hmm? This is another four and five. Okay. Okay. Then we have this this one two here. Okay. Yeah, zero and nine will also what will cancel, right? Do you do you understand? Hello. Okay, you can hear. <laughs> You're not tired. Okay, so I believe you've gotten it right. Hello. Okay. Okay. So. Okay, so let's let's conclude. Okay, so now you can see here that we've able to get these ones out. You see that here we got what all these ones out. Then here is what zero, right? Now we had from here. All these figures will go, and then the answer is what? This. Okay. Now, here we've canceled out, and then we receive what? We receive what? Huh? Eight. Okay. Now, the reason why the answer is right is zero times any number is what? Zero times any number is what? No, zero times any number is, is zero. Yes, yes. Okay, zero times any number is zero. So now you can see here, we have eight here. So this times, you see there's multiplication times here. This is times here. Okay, the multiplication. So here is left with what? Eight. Okay, do you, do you agree with me? Okay, and then here was what? Zero. Zero times eight is what? Zero. So you can see the answer is right. So it means this time this is what? Is this answer. Are you okay? Okay, so this is the principle that you can use to always prove your answers. Okay. I believe it's not difficult to you. Is it difficult? Is this difficult? Okay, so I believe today we've done so much. Okay, so now I want someone to read down there for me. Why does the method work? Who can read there? I want one to read. Then we. Okay, read. Okay. 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 Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. 
Okay. Okay. Okay. Okay, thank you. You've done well. So now, what are, what we are seeing is every calculation, there's nine inside, okay? So if I have 10, 10 is what? 1 plus 9 is 10, okay? If I have 20, okay? If I have 20, if 20 is what? 2 nines, okay? Okay, plus 2. Okay, who give me 20? Do you understand? Okay, so, uh -huh. so now what you are saying here is if you have 35 in your pocket, okay, and you want to buy many lorries as you can, so you think about nine. So, for example, nine each, each will give you what. Each is what 10 was 10 cents. So you buy how many can you buy? Okay, with your 35. How many? And then what change can you get from that? Okay, so now you know the nines that you are having. Okay, so if I have nine, how many times can nine go into 35? Who can tell me? How many times? Nine. Four. Okay, so four times nine is what? I gave you the table. Four times nine. Thirty-six. So it means that you cannot buy four. Okay, so it means that you get there will be extra hot one. Okay, do you get it? Do you get it? You get extra one change. Do you get it? So that is why you have the one cent here. Okay, so you have 30. Okay, so what you are saying is anything that you will be doing in mathematics. You will always think in terms of nine, okay? And then you use nine to work out. So if I have four times nine, it's going to give me 36, right? Okay, so 36 is the same as what? Three plus six, which is nine. Do you agree? Do you agree? So you get back your, you get back your what? Nine. Any number you multiply by nine, when you add, you should get the same number. Okay, let's take this now. Twenty-seven. Okay, who can give me the twenty-seven? If I have twenty-seven, what number can you multiply by nine that you will get twenty-seven? Three. Okay, three. Then when you add this, two plus seven will give you back what? nine do you understand so you see any multiplication that you did if i have here two times nine let's what two times nine is what 18 18 then if you want to check add the digit which is what one plus one plus eight will give you what backwards your nine right so any number that you multiply by nine will be the same number. That is the main reason why we say that always when you see the nine, cut it out, okay? Because it's a repetition. It will give you back the same answer. So the moment you see nine, you cancel it because you can prove it, okay? We can prove it here. Let's multiply nine by five. Nine times five will give you what? Who can give me the answer? Nine times five. Forty-five. Let's add the digits. Add the digits. So add the digits. Four plus five will be what? 
nine. So when you cancel it, it's the same thing. So you don't need it. Okay, so anytime you see nine in the figure, you can decide to alt it out and your answer will not be wrong. Do you understand? Okay, so that is the main reason why we decide to alt the nine out when we see nine. Because when you multiply any number by nine, when you add it digit, you will receive the same answer as nine. It is the same as you saying nine times one. Nine times one is the same as what? Nine. That is it. Are you okay? Okay, so do you enjoy this class today? Okay, I, hope, I believe you've learned so much today. So now you can know how to play with what? Numbers, okay? And then how to... So, so far, we've done a, um, a lot. The question that I gave you, I gave you module four, okay? So I want you to prove your answer, module four. So your question is prove the answers that you had in module four. All of you, that is our, I'm going to put it there. So we will be proving the answers we had in the module four. Uh, module four, this is, uh, I can use this. These are the answers we got, okay? So we want to prove these answers to see if truly this is the right answer. I believe you can do that. Okay, so please go back and work the module four again, all what you did. And then when you are done, prove your answer. I want a good presentation. I want someone who can present it nicely for me, like what today Franklin did. I need someone to challenge him. Okay, who can do that? Who can challenge Franklin? I believe I have good students here and they can do that, okay? So I want someone to challenge him, okay? So I'll put it there. We are going to prove our answer, module four. We are going to prove it. So you go back. If you already done your work, then just go and prove your answer. When I put the link, you just upload your work, okay? So you can start work now. Just rest. And then when you are okay, you can start work. Okay. If you have any question, you can ask me. If you have any question, you can ask me. Yes. Should we have add what? To what? No, to prove your answer. You've already done the work, the module four. The question I gave you in module four. This is the question I gave you, okay? And then you've solved your answer. This is someone's work, okay? Benson, you did your work. You didn't prove your work. You see what this uh, Franklin did? You got the answer, but I mark you down, uh, Benson. You didn't show work, okay? So I will, I will not only mark answers. I want to see how you did the work. So Benson, look at what Franklin did and sit up and do it well. Okay. Erequa, you also did it. You did well, but I didn't prove your work. So look at this and also sit up. Okay. Now, once you are done with this, then you prove your answer. So you can do it at the top small and prove your answer for me to see. Okay. Okay. I want someone who can present it nicely for me. It's part of what we are learning. Presentation is part. Okay. I want you to think. We are thinking. So how you present your work is part of whatever we are learning here. So I want to see that. Okay. So next week, I want to see good work from you guys. Okay. I need a challenger. I need one lady to challenge Franklin for me. So if there's no question, then we can close the class. Okay. There's no question, right?
Okay, so thank you for joining this class today. Look forward to see you next week. Bye. 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 Bye.